Welcome back to Day in the Life of a Data Centre guys. Today we're still outside Studio One, the UK's largest independent TV studio. Custodian provide the Wi-Fi on a massive Unify network and we're going to make it unkillable because they had a show in, unplugged a load of stuff and it all went Pete Tom. I've made provision to fix it, so we're going to put some new cabling in, get ready for a new switch that's going in maybe next week, depends how quick Amazon deliver. Um, and yeah, we'll get it all unkillable for when the next show comes in. We've got them. Spoilers! We've got something in soon that we're going to be dealing with. Stay tuned. So guys, we're in the studio, we've got three access points in here, they run on Unify. So Unify is an um, amazing Wi-Fi solution for places like this. We're a business centre, we've got a TV studio, it's awesome. Basically, I can distribute access points across the entire network and people can walk around and it will just change onto the next access point, which are these bad boys. So we've got these, we've got three of these in here, we've got one on this wall and two on the back wall. We're going to re-cable them round to the wall box in the corner. In the studio, you've got loads of these dotted around the place, and all these, they're kind of like patching boxes, so you've got various sockets here that the TV guys use, and they all patch back into that corner where there's loads of different patch panels where we plug stuff in and it just works. Problem is, when the TV guys come in, they just unplug everything at the end and we lose all the access points and pfft, all hell breaks loose. So I'm going to bypass all of that, make it run off its own physical cable back to the galleries, which I might be able to show you. Once that's done, the new switch will go in, all the Wi-Fi access points will plug into the switch, and then if I lose all three access points, the switch has gone down, or the connection to it, and if I lose just one, someone's unplugged it from the switch. Can't really mess it up, so we're gonna run some new cables today. I've got my box cable, all my cabling equipment, cable ties. I'll probably start with the back wall first because they're the easiest cables, but I'll need to get our maintenance team to drop me a cable above the shutter door here because it needs a cherry picker. So yeah, catch up if you want to run cables. It's worth noting, this is a TV studio. We provide a connectivity for, for the FIFA E-Nations World Cup. The Wi-Fi here, when they were in, they're just shy of a petabyte of Wi-Fi. It's huge! So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get my trusty cable ties. I'm gonna cable tie the two wires I've just run. Cable tie around the room get it dropped in at each end, crimp off both ends, then when the switch arrives in a week and a half, whenever it arrives, we'll get that connected up. Maybe a part two, who knows. So effectively what we're doing, these two cables go back to the access points on the back wall. I'm routing them back to this cabinet over here, which I'll show you in a sec. And we're going to put a managed PoE switch in there because all the ubiquity access points are PoE, which means they get their power on this Ethernet cable uh, versus a DC power supply. However, because it's studio's infrastructure, I want to keep what I can neat enough for it to uh, satisfy people. So I'm going to come along here. Um, I'm actually going to just come up and under. There's a block of wood behind you, you guys. Can't. And then onto this cable tray. And of course, while I'm pulling this, I'm a bit cautious of the big red lever there, so I'm making sure that my uh, cables don't catch on it because I don't want to disrupt anything studio right? But effectively, what this whole setup is going to do is going to make sure that when people are in doing their shows, when they're in rigging, when they're in de-rigging, if they unplug anything, it's not going to affect the Wi-Fi, because chances are most of the riggers are on Wi-Fi, and then they'll unplug it un unknowingly, not, it's not intentional. They'll unplug it and then wonder why they can't get to YouTube or whatever. So this is going to make it fully unbreakable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually run it above this fibre. This is multi-mode fibre and this is a similar sort of setup here. So this copper goes back to the um, access points but the fibres will actually go back to these wall boxes which I showed you at the start. So here we are, the main patching area for the studio. 
So in here we've got a load of Cat5 patch points which will go back to various wall boxes. Um, problem is, it, when a show comes in, the chances are they're just going to unplug stuff. Um, which could take access points offline, which isn't good. So what I'm going to do is I've ordered a managed PoE switch, as I said earlier. I'm going to put it on top of here so it's well out of the way. No one's likely to touch it, it's going to be labelled up as Wi-Fi do not touch. Um, and hopefully that will uh, ensure that the Wi-Fi stays online all the time. And obviously the audience use it as well, so when the audiences are in for the shows, they're relying on reliable, fast Wi-Fi to um, Instagram and Facebook and God knows what else. Um, but yeah, just going to crimp some of these. So if I start at probably that end, I'll work my way back and uh, yeah, I'll show you what I'm doing. So, we scurried across the 12,000 square foot studio and now we're going to wire in this side. So at the moment the access point goes on this cable here, goes into this tie, which is just here, so RJ45 tie. And that goes back to the wall box we were just at. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to quickly sling a end on here and then I'm going to wire this directly into the um, into the access point so it doesn't go through here. Then people are less likely to unplug it. Less likely, it doesn't mean they won't. So I'm just going to quickly crimp this. So we put boots on everything purely because it's um, just easier to plug and unplug stuff. Um, it's also a very easy way of identifying what cables are custodians and what cables are TV studios because the TV studio ones tend not to have boots on. See now the thing is when you work in a data centre it's crucial that you get your Cat 5's crimped properly because if you don't then you're running into all sorts of problems like they don't run at full gigabit, um, there's just random losses every now and then. Um, so yeah I think it's all a Patient practice makes perfect. We drop all our off cuts in a in a separate box purely because we don't want it to go in our equipment because we've got some equipment in the DC that is very expensive and it keeps us online. So I'll just pop that in there. So I'm just going to wipe the green brown brown. Pop the boot in. I can get this plumbed in. When the switch arrives, I'll plumb it in because there's no point plumbing it in now, otherwise it's going to go offline. So I'm just going to coil this up. I'll need to do an end-to-end -end test to make sure it is gigabit. Just because uh, even though I have crimped it properly, I might have snagged the cable over there and it might have ripped it and caused some sort of short circuit. Um, so we run a cable test on all of our Cat 5s, be it for studios, for custodian or for just an office computer, um, just so we're sure that they run at gigabit. That's what we do here, but hey, we'll show you how to make these. We'll, we'll do a video soon on how to properly crimp a Cat5 the end, and we'll show you how we test them, which is also a great insight into what actually goes on behind the scenes um, when someone says, yeah, I want a Cat5 between here and here. What actually goes on, we run cables, we crimp them, they get QC'd by someone else, and they get tested, and then they get signed off. And Thank you ever so much for watching. Sorry if it's been a bore, but it's just part of the life. I'll get the rest of these done and maybe, maybe there'll be a part two, depending on if I can convince our marketing team. We'll do a part two of me plumbing it all in and I'll show you actually what I'm doing on the switch. Maybe get it configured with you guys watching over me. We'll get it configured and hey, what else? What else do you want to see? If you want to see a switch configured, if you want to see the Cat5 done, whatever you want, just drop it in the comments. We'll get back to you. I mean, we, we had a request for a network tour. That'll be online, I think it went online maybe a month ago or so. I'm not sure. Um, depends on when this video is actually uploaded. But we'll get some more videos out. If you tell us what you want to see, we'll do it. We'll make dreams come true. And yeah, that's just part of what we do here at Custodian.